All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for my beautiful Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Aries, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. What do my beautiful Aries need to know today, please, in love? <coughs> Excuse me. In love, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Okay, so we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, energy, Libra, energy, we Cancerian. Tell me about Aries, please. What do we need to know today? About Aries, we have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Strength card in the reverse, Leo energy, and we've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Tell me about, tell me about, okay, oh wow. We've got the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Wands. What outcome do we see here, please, for Aries? Tell me about the outcome, please, for Aries. 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 We have the um, Two of Cups. We have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, and we have the Fool card, Aries Energy. Under the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so Aries, let's see what we have going on here. Aries, I feel like someone here is <coughs> manifesting either for a new business, to marry someone, a child someone here is going really hard with trying to manifest okay the problem is with the strength card in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the reverse i feel like someone here is very vulnerable very vulnerable and because they have been non-committal to something like someone here Okay, someone here was manifesting either marriage, to have a child, or a business, and to be financially stable. But I feel like because they couldn't resist something, because they couldn't resist something, this person is going to end up without, okay? So that could be an energy of, you know, um, if, if someone here couldn't help themselves and cheated or someone here couldn't help themselves and gambled money um someone here couldn't help themselves uh and because of this it left them desolate with the moon card the five of pentacles and the eight of wands i feel like someone here has to tell somebody that we're broke you know uh aries this could be an energy of somebody maybe gambled money away or somebody here spent money that they didn't have someone here lost a job um someone here though i, I want to reiterate though that <coughs> with the magician and the empress someone here was manifesting everything was going well but because with the strength card they 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 knew they shouldn't do something Okay, they knew the strength card in the upright talks about even though I want this, I know I should leave this alone. Okay, but they couldn't help themselves. So maybe someone here spent their rent money on a purse, or maybe someone here, you know what I'm saying? Someone here did something that they weren't supposed to do. Okay, and now with the moon card, the five of pentacles, and the eight of wands, the secret 
is that someone here is is fearing something or they can't pay for something someone here has to have a talk okay and reveal the secret but they're afraid that they're either going to get kicked out or they're afraid that they're going to lose something um this could be a representation of you know you need to call your car company and say listen i can't make my payment this month or i can't make the rent rent this month and now someone's afraid that they are going to lose something with the full card the chariot and the two of cups i I feel here that there may be uh, travel involved. Someone here may end up having to call family. Someone here may have, you know, a, a, a boyfriend or girlfriend that steps in to save the day. <coughs> I feel like with the full card, the chariot, and the two of cups, someone here may need to travel. They may need to take the leap of faith and finally make that right decision to do what they have to do. We've got the three of cups here, and we've got the ace of pentacles. I feel like someone here is going somewhere new or reuniting with a family member or reuniting with a friend or a love interest. Um, we've got the seven of pentacles here. So someone here is going to miss somebody or something or someone here, you know, invested in the wrong way. Um, I feel like what's happening is, is, you know, let's just say, for instance, it's rent or mortgage or something. And someone's saying, listen, I just don't got it. I don't have the money to pay you. So now someone has to go and make the decision that's best for them and move in with somebody, reconcile with somebody, come together with somebody. So let's see here. Tell me, <coughs> tell me about the Empress, please. Tell me about the Empress here for Aries. We've got the Justice card in the reverse. Tell me about the Magician for Aries, please. We've got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So what I'm feeling here, Aries, is that somebody here, again, wanted to manifest, but they didn't do things the right way. Um, with the Justice card in the reverse and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, the universe may have offered this person an opportunity to, you know, manifest, but someone here didn't take it, okay? Someone here didn't and take it. Tell me about the strength card in the reverse. Two of swords in the reverse. Someone here made the wrong decision. Tell me about the king of pentacles in the reverse. <coughs> The judgment card in the reverse. Whatever happened here was a very bad decision and there's no going back from it. And this is the table turning on somebody. I feel like someone here was too quick to walk away. Someone here maybe was too quick to walk away from something and now the table is turning on somebody. And now the table is turning on somebody. Tell me about the moon card here for Aries, please. We've got the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please, for Aries. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like a conversation is going to happen here and someone is having anxiety about this connection. Someone here needs to have a conversation and speak a secret, okay? Um, I feel that this is all going to be with someone where th th this isn't going to be with strangers this is going to be with people where there's love and emotion there um it's like i love you i care about you but you gotta go you know what i'm saying um something along those lines with the eight of wands and the knight of pentacles in the reverse this is a, a very serious conversation happening about listen i can no longer do this i i can't you know give you this anymore or there was something stable that was happening and someone saying i can't do this anymore do you understand so let me give you another example. Let's just say someone here was manifesting wanting to have a child, okay? They did it in the wrong way because you cannot uh, mess with free will. So if you're wanting a child, but your partner is not wanting a child, you cannot manifest a child with somebody that is against their free will. So I feel like what may have happened here is somebody made a decision to get a bisectomy, let's just say. Do you see what I'm saying? So now... Now, due to that decision, someone here saying, and I feel like someone feels like it was a bit, let's just say something like that happened, right? 
someone wants a baby, the other person doesn't want children, and this person keeps going about it the wrong way, the the other person goes and gets a visectomy, let's just say. But I feel like the person that gets the visectomy is going to be like, this was a bad idea. I'm going to need to tell my person that we are never going to have kids because I had a visectomy. Do you see what I'm saying? Someone here is really scared about a conversation. <coughs> <coughs> a conversation that's going to take place because with the four of pentacles this is an energy of i can't give you kids i can't give you marriage i can't give you money i can't give you what you need and with the five of pentacles i feel like someone here has a fear that their person is going to leave them or someone here has a fear that um you know maybe you're in a relationship with someone who can't have kids and this person hasn't told you yet right um which is super unfair to you okay that you know um or maybe someone just spent money that you guys didn't have <coughs> now someone has to come in and say listen we can't pay the mortgage someone has a really bad secret that they need to speak tell me about the full card here for aries We've got the death card, scorpionic energy. Something is ending here because with the four of pentacles, somebody cannot give either money, a, a relationship, marriage, children. Tell me about the chariot, the moon card. Yep. So something is ending here. Why is it ending? Because one person thought that everything was going to be okay. They thought that everything was good. Everything was fine and dandy. But you see, the problem is, is that with the moon card, Someone here didn't see the truth. Someone here didn't know the truth. They didn't realize that it was an illusion. They didn't realize that it was lies, illusions, that somebody wasn't being truthful. Tell me about the Two of Cups for Aries. The Two of Cups for Aries. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Yep. Someone here... Someone here is about to get hurt in a relationship. There's about to be major blockages. So, you know, someone here is in a relationship thinking that this is going to head towards marriage or thinking that they're going to have children or thinking that everything's going to be okay. But little do they know that someone here is either dead broke, someone can't have children, someone, you know, isn't legal in this country, um, whatever the case may be. There's love between these two people, but it's an energy of, I'm sorry, I, I can't give you this. I know you wanted this, but I can't give it to you. And someone's going to be like, we've been dating for two years. You know how bad I want children. And now you're telling me that, you know, you can't have kids. Or, you know, we've been dating for, I don't know, two years and we're planning on buying a house. And now you're telling me that you have been not have been saving any money at all when we agreed to save $100 a week or something. It's going to be something along <coughs> those lines. Tell me about the Three of Cups. We've got Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. And tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. Eight of Swords in the Reverse. So I do feel like there's going to be forgiveness here. I do feel like a grudge is going to be released. Um, so I do feel like it's going to be okay. I do feel like it's going to be okay. Six of Cups and the Devil here. I do feel like someone here is going to forgive and forget what has happened in the past, but do we see an ending here? Do we see an ending here? So, yeah, again, I feel like somebody here promised to give something to somebody and now they're finding out the truth that they cannot in fact give. I feel like somebody here wants forgiveness. They want forgiveness for lying in the past. That's what it is. They want <coughs> forgiveness. They want to be freed from the burden of lying. They want to be freed from the burden of lying. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm, I, you know, for whoever's going through this, I'm sorry because someone here is about to find out something that's really going to hurt. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.